where set for a scorching hot Malaysian Grand Prix. Will Fabio be there? Now, good start from Jack Miller on the second row. As we expect. The outside. Is he going to try and take the lead into turn one? Look at Marquez as well. Hey there. Oh, Marquez was rubbing Subscribe up the to my channel. And also Fabio press this bell run. icon. Is. What a dream start by Marquez. He's picking them off at will. Maverick Vinales dobbing up the inside of Franco Morbidelli. Mark Marquez in fifth ahead of Quattro. Side of Fabio Quattro. We're looking back from the Repsol Honda man at Fabio Quattro. That Miller, no way through. Mark Marquez could not be more motivated after what happened here yesterday. Rossi did not get away too well. He's got work to do already. We're going into turn nine here. Miller, it is the leads. Maverick Vinales sees a gap. Field him. Mark Marquez. Vinales has got the inside line on Jack Miller through turn number 11. So Vinales now hits the thunder. Rossi's on the move. He's made a couple of decent moves. Fabio Quattro is really struggling. Nice. Matt. He's dropped down two places. That's Jack Miller. And in one lap, Mark Marquez has gone from 11 to second. Onto the suffer. It's back to the apex. He's fifth. So Miller used the pound of the catty. Miller though lost the front coming through to prove he could be off. What's happened to Quattararo, by the way? He's had a nightmare. He's had an absolute nightmare. Quattro Seven tenths. Marquez is going to have a look surely at Jack Miller here into turn nine. They break hard into this left-handed second time. Mark Marquez knows his best chance of beating Vinales is if he can get in the slipstream. He's got to try and deal with Jack Miller first. Miller's the only man. On that lap that was in the 59s, still Marquez has not been able to find a way through. Now to get past Miller, we're on board with the Aussie in second place, the number 43, trying to close it. This is how he thought Philip Harley was going to play out seven days ago. Better late than never, I guess. Better late than... He sees the door open, he goes through on Jack Miller, but on the cutback, Miller's going to have the slipstream. And uses the speed and the acceleration of the Ducati, it's going to be tight, you know Marquez is so, so strong on the brakes. The 46 in fifth place, he's just behind the two Ducatis and Mark Marquez now in second, can he break up the inside at turn number four, so in quick succession, Jack Miller's lost a couple of places. The foot here, here comes Valentino Rossi, there's Morbidelli, there's Rins, there's Quattararo, he's still in eighth. He's made it by Ross to attack him on the brakes into turn nine. You can see that coming. He lined it up into turn number eight, but he's going to be in half. The podium here, Morbidelli's right on his tail as well. He's just started to warm up a bit as well. On the brakes, it's so, so hard to pass a Ducati. Certainly in these parts of the circuit where they've probably got a 10. Trying at the moment just to build a bit of a gap over Dovi in third. Further That's back here is Under. It looked like when Marquez was up the inside of it, turn three, where the Quattro had a bit of a moment of airborne Petrucci. Well, so far, four laps, he's not even within half a second of the laps he's been posting so far this weekend. It's the bridge. Rossi just cannot find a way through yet on the Ducatis ahead of him. He's going to have to take risks again on the brakes at the turn. Petrucci in a sandwich between Rossi and Marquez. Now, Mark Marquez over the line, really knocked his confidence, I think. These are the gaps then. There's Dovi in third. Just ahead of Jack Miller on the break. I mean, look at that. Miller did not even have to try. Yeah, that was embarrassing. The uh, top speed difference. We saw it last week. Three lap from lap three onwards, he lost one place per lap. I mean, Miller did not even have to fight for that. He nearly Absolutely. because now Vinales, he's not having to make these risk, risky moves on the break. He's going to try something on Miller. Let's have a look at this then from Valentino Rossi. He's tried this a couple of occasions before, and it's not gone well this time. Yeah, how much life has Rossi got left in his rear tyre? How much life has De Vizioso got left in his experienced Italians ahead of him? So is there a bit of late drama in terms of Alex Rins? Oh, here he goes, Rossi's having a look into turn nine. Can he get the Yamaha stopped? On the cutback, here comes Dovi. But then Rossi, he's going to have to try and hope for a mistake into turn 15 from Dovi. Just look at that. Those Yamaha engineers back in Iwata. Please, please, please. Begging. Is 2.8. Yeah, De Vizioso and Rins just keeping fourth. There is Jack Miller, who's been taken by Fabio Quattararo. The seventh play. Absolutely sitting duck. Rossi is on the straights. There's just nothing he can do about that. No tap. He will not have a better chance of taking. It is hot out on circuit. As look here, Jack Miller's finally got Cal Crutchlow as well. What's that just flown off Jack Miller's bike? What was that? Marco, Alex Rins, considering he's not got part of his motorcycle, is almost on par with Marquez. And finally, he's within a second now of Vizioso and Rossi. That pose in the battle for third. Dovi at the moment has it from Rossi, but Rins is close behind. Great rhythm from Alex Rins at the moment. It's worth pointing out as well, Rins has got a few more ponies on Pino Rossi. 
Yeah, and he's coming closer again now, Rins. He's taken another couple of attempts out of Rossi behind Andrea Vizio, so he can't find a way through. He's had a look a couple of times at turn nine and then running hot. And man, to be keeping a close eye on, surely now is within half a second striking distance of Rossi out of this race. That's at the final corner, isn't it? It's been a difficult weekend here in Sepang. Yeah. wide in there I mean you can take that sort of line in but unfortunately the back for third fourth and fifth the only thing I can say Matt is that they are putting pressure on Dobby so he is actually having a stress thing of him Valentino Rossi and Alex Rins then all over the tail unit now of Andrea De Vizioso can long time tracking fight going on for eighth place as well further back Miller Zarco Petrucci and Mia they're having a real good back with the fracking rights in control of this but not for the position that they were anticipating at all Dom. 11th on the grid, second place is a great result for Mark Marquez and this run of top rider in the MotoGP era after 18 races. Yeah, when he was flying through the air at turn two yesterday, I've snapped your hands off Mark Marquez. It's been another brilliant performance by him. Unfortunately, by the time he got into second, the problem Rossi's going to have here is even if he does manage to get past Davizioso, he's got tries to pull a move off on Franco Morbidelli. Can't quite map. And this is just all about bragging rights inside that Yamaha team. This will be a bit of kudos to Franco Morbidelli of late. The mistake coming out of turn 14. Rossi goes through, but surely he's too deep. He is. On the cutback comes Dobby. Rins might even puncture with, what, three laps to go. Oh, Zarco's crashed out. Joan Zarco was on course for a Quattararo out wide yeah. in turn one. He's getting hot and bothered. Turn 14 then. Well, I'd imagine from Fabio Quattararo just in way too hot. He was never going to get it stopped no. there. No, you've got to be careful. We've seen Zarco and Lorraine. But Mark Marquez, this is the battle, though, that's keeping the fans on the edge of their seats for third place. Desmo Dovi. Zarco then on board here with Jack Miller. And turn 14. Joan Zarco. Dovi's struggling a bit with rear end grip there, you can just see. But we're running out of time as he tries to have big, big contact with Jack Miller at turn 15, and no great surprise, the FI Motor DP stewards at long lap penalty, or will they just bust him with a grip penalty next time out in Valencia? Pinales has been... He goes, yeah, I think Mir might find himself in trouble. I tell you what, Zarco's lucky there not to clatter in to by Mir, then at the moment, it's still as you were in this battle for the final spot on the podium. Vignal, has he got anything left in that Suzuki? Mir has got the long lap penalty, so... Uh, Instant pot, much uh, time left here to do something about this. Has Alex Rins got anything? Will Dobby hang on? Dobby looks like it's the last lap of the race here in Malaysia. He has been in complete control, Maverick Vinales. Three and a half seconds is the battle for third, which has kind of stayed the same for some time. Incredibly, this would, be, would it have been a different story potentially had he qualified higher up than 11th place, but still salvage a second place. Brilliant looking towards this for some time, haven't they? Do you know what? I think Dobby might have Rossi and Rins covered as well because Rossi's about half a second behind. There might be some late drama, but it looks like Rins has run out of steam. Yeah, into turn nine, it would be a good overtaking opportunity to Dobby's back wheel for quite some time. A couple of times he's tried to find a way through. Mark Marquez is going to take a performance by the top gun who heads to the last corner. He's going to be victorious. Magnificent Ma yes, it's Mavericks Malaysia as he wins for Yamaha and ends a nine-year drought in Malaysia. There's Mavericks across the line. Valentino Rossi couldn't quite make it. He takes fourth as his best result for quite some time. At least he trusts me. <laughs> he listens me. I said to push. <laughs> now I did a super brace. Vinales and the factory Yamaha team. Great job by that one as well, Mark Marquez. He has set a Valentino Rossi and Alex Rins to take third place, a great fight back from 10th on the grid. And Mark Marquez, there is a man though, who's in a class of his own really. Maverick Vinales, victorious for the first time. Good work then from the veteran Italian to hold off another veteran Italian. For nine years, but it's gone. Another record broken by Mark Marquez. Could be that Patronus Yamaha SRT were thinking it was going to...